Hey, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today for this week's episode of Counterpoint. I'm joined here by Adam today. He's our product specialist from our catalog department. Thanks, thanks for being here, yeah, Adam. Thanks for having me, Mike. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We have two boxes in front of us. They look about the same, same size box. What do we got here? We got a starter solenoid here. Okay. And a continuous duty solenoid. All right, big difference, even though they, they both are solenoids, exactly. right? Exactly. Now, the big thing you'll see in the box is a starter solenoid. So that does okay. confuse people. So that's okay. why I want to really get through this to us today. All right, kind of so this, uh, we got a U1453 here. Exactly. It says on the box starter solenoid, but yes. really it is a continuous, continuous duty. duty. And it's intended to stay on for a set of, exactly. a, a set amount of time, yes. right? Yes. Then this, uh, what do we got here, an F496. This is a starter solenoid. This is like uh, the Ford starter mm -hmm. solenoid that uh, a lot of people replace. Mm -hmm. um, but it's an intermittent duty, yes. right? So the difference between intermittent and continuous. That's right. A, that's actually a, it's a, you know, an issue that people uh, have noted actually, you know, just trying to learn those. Exactly, it, yep. It's more confusing than, it, than you think it is. Actually. Right, yeah, so. this F496 here is only intended to be on for that short amount of time, right? Exactly. It's, it's not meant to stay on like when running a snow plow mm -hmm. or a golf cart or something like that. Um, and this is why we're bringing this up today because as a lot of you have experienced, you've seen your first snow. Yeah. You figure out that your snow plow doesn't work right now. <laughs> Exactly. So you go to the parts store and you have a couple choices in front of you of what exactly. you want to buy to run your snow plow. Mm -hmm. So why, why is it that a lot of people pick up this 496 to run it? The price. Price. Yes. Okay. So yes. it's cheaper. Exactly. The F, F496 is significantly cheaper than this uh, continuous duty. Yep. The U1453. But what they run into is replacing this thing multiple times, right? Yes. Because it actually good. fails. It fails it, uh, very quickly. It's not intended to run that amperage for a, a long period of time. It's intermittent duty. So that's really what we want to drive home today is yep. intermittent only for a short amount of time. Like when you're cranking over your yes. engine. As long as you turn that key, yep. that's how long it's meant to run. And then it's supposed to shut off and exactly. cool itself back down. Yes. Where this one, this continuous duty is meant to turn on and stay on for a set of period yeah, of time exactly. to a certain amperage rating, and we actually have that amperage rating here. Uh, this U1453 is rated at 80 amps continuous mm -hmm. and 160 amps intermittent. Right. Yeah. So you will not find an amperage rating for a F496. Exactly. All right, so what do we get in the box when okay. we get these things, Adam? So let's start at the F496. Okay. So. Yeah, I think most of us will, will know what this looks like. Yeah, pretty you know, common looking part. solenoid. I'm sure exactly. many of us have replaced this on the, on our Ford vehicles exactly. in, the, in the past. Yep, a you know, bracket here, you know. Sometimes mounted to the firewall or the fender. Yes. Um, one thing to note with the 496, you guys see this nice metal bracket here? This bracket needs to be bolted down to something metal, clean metal, in order for the solenoid to function. Exactly. On clean our, metal. Clean. On our website, yes. we have wiring diagrams for these. I'll bring them up on the screen here. See the F496 here has the ground through the mounting bracket. So in order for this solenoid to function, it needs to be grounded, needs to be bolted down to clean metal with a mm -hmm. path to ground. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we get in the box okay. of the U1453? U1453. Another bag. Yes, and it is sealed. All right. <laughs> so this one looks a little bit different. Yes, it does. It still has the four terminals on it, yeah. but uh, the grounding just, is a little different. Yeah, it looks a little different. Yes. Well, if we bring up this diagram for this U1453, you'll see that our ground comes through this other terminal. Mm -hmm. So this one does not need to be bolted down to some sort of metal or some sort of path to ground. It can be bolted to just about anything. Anywhere you want to put it, as long as it's uh, and you as long as it's dry. You know, you try to keep it dry. Sure. So. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so you have your switch to power on one of the small terminals and your ground on the other. Exactly. All right. So just by looking at them, they look very similar, but their uses and their intentions are completely considerably different. opposite. Yes, considerably so, different. So, remember, guys. F-496, intermittent duty, this is to power up your starter or whatever on your vehicle yes. for a short amount of time, a burst of, of energy, essentially, yes. Yes. cranking over the motor. And that's this it. That's it. U-1453 is for your snow plow, your uh, people golf, cart. golf carts. Summertime, um, we'll get the golf cart calls. Sure. So, so it's, it's meant to power up those things, maybe even like a salter on the back of a yes. truck, right? Something yes. like that. This is meant to stay on and run 80 amps continuous, up to 80 amps continuous. Mm -hmm. So. One of our most um, uh, 
it's definitely the highest stampage uh, continuous exactly. duty that we, we have. Exactly. So. so we do have some other continuous duty solenoids, uh -huh. but this is going to be the most common one common that people one, are going to put it's on. Uh, universal. Exactly. More, right. of a uni more of a universal type. Let's put it that exactly. way. Exactly. Okay. So. so I think that's about it for today, um, unless you had anything else. No, I think that All was right. it. These do come with instruction sheets in them. Both come with an instruction sheet of how to how to install it. Um, and the website. And our website's out there, so you guys can check out our diagrams and specs out there. And uh, so when you go to the parts store, don't buy an F-496 for your snow plow. No, please it's, not. It's just going to end up failing, and you're going to have to put another one in, and another one, and another one. Yeah. It's going to work for uh, one, or, one or two lifts, maybe at best, exactly. and then you're going to be back to the same problem. Exactly. So, so uh, continuous duty solenoid is the way to go. So yeah. okay. I think that's about it for today. So. Well, thank you guys, and we'll see you guys again next time in the Wells Tech Garage.